Hello, my name is Susan Welts. I'm the academic chair for the imaging programs here at Michener. I manage three programs, the Nuclear Medicine and Radiological Technology program, joint programs with the University of Toronto, and also the Ultrasound program, which is a Michener-only program. For ultrasound, we have a, a shorter program than some of Michener's programs. It's a 20-month program where the students spend uh, 11 months with us didactically and uh, in the labs, as well as then followed by a clinical time of eight months. So it's a, a short program that students would take as a, a second type of program. They need a degree or uh, a health professional designation to be able to enter into the program. All of the imaging programs are in high demand in the workforce right now and uh, the job opportunities are, are in a good status for all of the programs in the imaging area. As you know from the news media reports, a lot of uh, diagnosis happens uh, through the imaging exams that the professionals that we train here learn how to do and it's a key part of the, the health uh, experience of, of anyone undergoing uh, investigations at hospitals. Hello, welcome to the ultrasound program. My name is Sheena Bimji Hewitt. I'm the program communication liaison at the Michener Institute in the ultrasound program. I have been an educator at the Michener for over 20 years and in healthcare for a long time. I'm the editor-in-chief of the Canadian Journal of Medical Sonography and I have published literature in education and in healthcare. Welcome. By joining us today, you're showing your interest in considering a profession in healthcare. So let us share with you some details about the Michener Ultrasound Program. Let me start by introducing you to the Ultrasound Program. The Michener Ultrasound Program is an accredited program for th over 30 years. It's known and respected in all of Canada it has experienced credentialed faculty that are known for their expertise, publications, and volunteerism. Our faculty have been leaders with national organizations such as Sonography Canada. Our goal is to prepare you for your clinical practicum and entry to practice and your credentialing exams. Students that come into our ultrasound program have multiple career opportunities. Once you've successfully completed your clinical practicum, and challenge the credentialing exams, you can then work in hospitals, in private clinics, in sales, or in research. Hi, I'm Hiba, and I'm a professor at the ultrasound program here at the Michener Institute. I worked as a sonographer and a clinical instructor previously, and I now teach ultrasound scanning, physics, obstetrics, and gynecology in professional practice. To prepare our students for entering the clinical environment, we have our ultrasound scanning courses and our professional practice courses, which encompass the majority of our practical training here in the didactic component. The ultrasound courses are uh, run in the fall, winter, and the summer semesters, and they build upon skills that are ultrasound related in order to allow the students to develop skills uh, with scanning. So we start our students off with basic sonographic skills uh, like handling a probe or manipulating the transducer, uh, adjusting machine controls, and then they advance in their skills and they build up at the winter semester with obstetrics and gynecological exams. And then in the summer, we have our simulated clinical semester where we prepare the students in a setting that's similar to a clinical environment. And this enables us to ensure that our students are ready to go into the clinical environment and to work with real patients and other healthcare professionals. Our professional practice courses help train our students to function as healthcare professionals in the clinical environment. So we have two professional practice courses, one that runs in uh, the fall and one that runs in the summer. We start our students off with learning how to talk to patients, how to introduce themselves, and also how to explain the ultrasound exam. As our students get more comfortable with talking with uh, patients and each other, uh, we build up on their skills on how to handle difficult conversations, uh, how to implement patient safety practices, and also uh, have them familiar with uh, standards of practice in the province and also re regulations and legislations. Simulation in this program helps us prepare the students for clinical work. So some of the things that we have our students do is uh, 
simulate working with each other as, as patients. Uh, also practice uh, conversations such as explaining the procedure, taking patient history, uh, and uh, obtaining consent for different types of exams. We also have uh, simulated participants who are actors that work with our students and allow them to practice different scenarios and different types of patients that they may encounter in the clinical environment. We also have our students practice ultrasound scanning on phantoms. We have different kinds of phantoms like obstetrics phantoms, gynae phantoms, uh, we have breast uh, and also abdominal phantoms. And uh, these phantoms allow a, an experience that is similar to scanning a, a real patient but enable the students to make mistakes and learn from them and to also have conversations that uh, are uh, free with their instructors in order to learn. We also have our scan trainer which is a simulation uh, based equipment and we uh, have the students complete exams that they may not necessarily be able to uh, encounter in, in the school environment but are necessary skills as they go into clinical. We also use a uh, software that allows for virtual learning and uh, have our students uh, access this software from home. And this is a simulation that uh, provides the students with critical uh, thinking and spatial reasoning skills that uh, are very crucial to know and we have benefited a lot from having this uh, program because it enables the students to access it from home and to practice those skills as they're learning them virtually. In the summer semester professional practice course we focus our attention on preparing the students to enter the workplace. So we have them uh, complete simulation scenarios with uh, actors that uh, incorporate different conversations, difficult conversations, uh, working with diverse patient populations, uh, and have the students develop those skills in order to be ready for any given scenario in the clinical world. We also have our students complete PPE modules and infection control modules from Public Health Ontario. And this is very important, especially during these times, for our students to practice safely and to be able to have the knowledge uh, to uh, incorporate infection control practices as they enter uh, the clinical world. We also have guest lecturers that come in uh, to the professional practice course and uh, our students benefit from the expertise that they can offer. An example of these would be um, a guest lecturer that is a clinical instructor in ultrasound or uh, a professional who specializes in uh, generational differences uh, in the workplace. And our students enjoy uh, this time and enjoy the expertise and feel better prepared to enter the workforce. Our students also complete the jurisprudence course set by the CMRITO. And this is an important part of functioning as a regulated health professional. Our students benefit from completing this course before they enter the clinical environment so that they are aware of the different legislations, regulations, and the standards of practice that they are expected to abide by when they work. Uh, this is our ultrasound lab here, and our students work, and all the scanning practices are done in this lab. We redesigned this lab to follow COVID recommendations and I'll show you what we've done. So as you can see, we have markings on the floor of the distancing of the students. We only have one entryway into the lab. This is where the students enter and they come in, uh, they're kind of spread apart a little bit. And when you come in here, you will see that we've left our simulator here. This is our scan trainer and we've designed all of the scanning bays similarly so that there is more than six feet distancing between the bays and there's only the transducers they're using are left on the outside and you'll notice that we have our ultrasound machines, our trolleys and one garbage can. We do have barriers that go across and around each of the stretchers and in this simulated learning area, you will also notice that we have cameras, uh, sorry, TV screens up at the top so the students can observe as they're scanning. So this is the redesigned lab. We've had to decrease some of our equipment in here from four scanning machines to three. 
uh, so that we can have appropriate distancing.